Let's talk about types of gene mutations. What are gene mutations? A gene mutation is a permanent change in the base sequence of DNA molecule. There are many different types of mutations which can be good or bad. Types of gene mutations can be deletion, duplication, inversion, substitution, and translocation. What is a silent mutation? A mutation is called a silent mutation when no change of amino acid occurs in the polypeptide chain. Mises mutation. The new codon causes an incorrect amino acid to be inserted into the protein. The effect on the function of the protein depends on what is inserted in place of the normal amino acid. Nonsense mutations. The new codon causes the protein to prematurely terminate, producing a protein that is shortened and often does not function properly at all. This happens, for example, in cystic fibrosis. An insertion mutation is when extra DNA bases are added to a gene sequence in DNA. Sickle cell anemia and malaria, are they linked and how? What is sickle cell anemia? Sickle cell anemia is the commonest genetic disease in the world and is caused by a base substitution mutation in which GAG is transcribed as GTG and valine instead of glutamic acid is translated. It is a disease in which the body's red blood cells turn into a sickle shape and carry less oxygen to the rest of the body parts. The longevity of the cells is significantly reduced. The body cannot replace blood cells as rapidly as, as a result, anemia develops. Sickle cell block the blood flow because they gather in blood vessels and block the pathway. It causes pain, organ damage, shortness of breath, headaches, dizziness, coldness in extremities, tiredness and weakness of the body. What is malaria? It is a very dangerous blood disease that is transmitted by the female Anopheles mosquito. After biting, a parasite enters and lays a dormant in the liver. Then the new parasite infects more red blood cells and the number increases. Malaria causes organ dysfunction and can easily be fatal if it was not treated since the early stages. Far too many people die because of malaria. Famous victims are Alexander the Great and George Washington. When the infected mosquito sucks human blood, it injects saliva to stop the blood from clotting. The saliva enters the human blood system and targets the liver. After duplicating, it targets red blood cells. The cell becomes sticky and eventually bursts. Sickle cell anemia and resistance to malaria. On a vacation of Oxford University expedition to Mount Kenya, Anthony Clifford Allison took blood samples from over 50,000 individuals and analyzed them. He noticed the following trend. He noticed that the places where high frequencies of sickle cell anemia were observed 
were the breeding ground for the mosquitoes that cause malaria. Then the idea of linkage between the two diseases arose and question was being asked. He tested out his hypothesis and looked at the malaria parasite lowered in each sample. After that, he looked for the sickle cell anemic character. He found that the individuals have sickle cell anemia have very few malaria parasites. This suggested the sickle cell anemia protects from malaria. Could sickle cell and malaria be connected? And if so, how? There is a correlation between sickle cell allele and malaria. A person who carries a heterozygous allele has greater fitness towards malaria and develops resistance to the malarial parasite. Malaria is harmful because of the release of toxic hemes for capillaries. The mechanism we use to fix free hemes can work against malaria. So when an organism is exposed to malaria, it knows how to fight against it and avoid the more toxic effects of malaria. Although sickle cell anemia is a mortal genetic disease, this disadvantageous phenotype is helpful in some cases like malaria. The answer for the question is based solely on the person. Look at the question below and answer. Is it a causal link or a correlation? Thank you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the like button. See you.